Do you ever wonder what it's like to work with a virtual personal stylist or working with a personal stylist in general? Well, stay tuned. Welcome back, my name is Tamara and I am a personal stylist, answering all your questions on style trends and how to be a conscious consumer. Showing you how you can rediscover your style starting from your own closet. Today's video, I'm sharing some insider tips on what it's like to work with myself, a virtual personal stylist. Let's get started. The first thing I like to do when working with clients is definitely getting to know them. I have a full questionnaire where I ask a number of questions, getting to know their style and also their lifestyle and what it is they do for work. I find when I have a really good idea of the person and who they are, then creating their style and overall look becomes really easy for me. Once I get to know who my client is, then I take the time to go through their closets. Now, you're probably thinking, how do you do that when it's virtual? Everything is done through a video conference and I get the client to go through their closet and I ask them to pick out five to seven different outfits that they wear on a regular basis, something that they constantly wear, that they always go to, and I ask them what could be different about it. I also ask them what they feel in those clothes. I find a majority of the time that the clothes that my clients are putting on, they don't own always feel the most confident and they always talk about how everything is very comfortable and insider tip Comfort with your clothing be anything that you wear because ultimately you want your clothes to fit. So no matter what your body type is, if your clothes are not fitting you properly, then ultimately they're not going to be comfortable. And I find a common one is that pants can be too tight around the abdomen or if it's not fitting properly in your shoulder, you feel like you're constantly in trap. So making sure that your clothes fit is really important. And another insider tip is when you're shopping, and I'm sure you've heard this before, if you have to size up, don't be jaded by what the number is. Think of it that you're getting it custom made for you. A lot of clothes today are made for the masses or pieces that you might have could be a little bit bigger. Take the time to have them taken in or taken out, or if you need them hemmed, do that as well. Once I have an idea of the outfits that a client wears on a regular basis, I ask clients to go back into their closet and pick out things that they haven't worn for a long time. And I ask them why they haven't worn it, because it doesn't fit, they don't like it anymore, it's not their style, they feel that it's not age appropriate. There are many things that can attribute to why you no longer like a pair of pants or a top or a dress. From there, I ask if it fits, and if it doesn't fit, then it's time to find it a new home. Based off the question, I ask my clients to fill out, I then start to create outfits for them based out of their own closet. Again, through video conferencing, I start to ask them to pull pieces and create the looks for them. I'm giving them at a glance of different looks that they can create. I, I then give them the challenge to take a photo every single day of all the outfits that we've put together. Another insider tip is that I ask my clients to create all the outfits on a hanger. That way there is no stress, but also the day of when you need to pull an outfit, it's already done for you. It's kind of like doing meal prep, but for your clothes. I also create a personalized lookbook for my clients. That way that they have a reference to go back to when they're shopping their own closets. I know that styling and creating outfits can be stressful and that is why we always go to the same thing. Oh. Now I've shared what it's like to work with me virtually. It is a step-by-step -step process and I find that working one-on-one -on -one with clients really helps me to get to know who they are and I really enjoy helping my clients build their confidence starting from what they already own. I have created a style guide of what it's like to work with me. You can download the style guide for free and you can find it in the description below. And don't forget to leave a comment in the comments below of what your style dilemma is. I definitely wanna hear what they are. And don't forget to download your free style guide of what it's like to work with me. If you found today's video helpful, don't forget to hit the bell, subscribe, check in every week so I know to make more videos just like it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.